All right, so let's talk about Pinocchio in Outer Space. So, yeah, this is, uh... We seem to be running into a theme with, uh, 1965. Um, this is the second, uh, animated movie to come out that same year that involves a, uh, <clears throat> famous literary figure, um, who, uh, famous literary figure going to space. And, yeah, I did review earlier animated movies for both of them, Gulliver's Travels and now Pinocchio. Um, so, um, there's also a couple other things, like it, there were times where it kind of felt like, uh, Willie McBean, cause like, at the beginning it shows, uh, the young protagonist boy character, like, not wanting to study something, but he ends up studying it anyway, so yeah, we got, uh, one kid studying, yeah, one kid, or yeah, both of them involve young boys who, like, hate studying this certain subject, history and space, respectively, and then, uh, yeah, then some, uh, comic relief sidekick character just shows up, and, uh, you know, they end up traveling to stop some enemy. So, yeah. <coughs> um... Also, this is kind of a side note, uh, there were also, uh, two Western-themed animated movies to come out this year. I already reviewed one of them, uh, The Man from Button Willow, but, uh, the other one I was, uh, planning to look for, it's called Weston Soda. It is a, uh, an Italian animated movie, but, uh, I found it, but it didn't have, like, any kind of translation, no dubbing or subtitles, so... Yeah, I have to skip that one for now. Yeah, Italy seems to be... Like, the only Italian movie I was able to watch so far was... Or, Italian animated movie was uh, Singing Princess. Um, but, uh, yeah, that one... I had to get the friggin' DVD for that one. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um, so, yeah, the... Anyway, let's get on to the, uh plot of the movie, so, uh, yeah, I get this, Pinocchio, after, okay, well, it's like the dumbest concept so far that I've covered, um, so yeah, it's like, uh, there's this, uh, exposition at the beginning that, oh, Pinocchio was so good for a while, but then suddenly he turned bad again, and, you know, you know, they say it's like a gradual process, but, uh, still, it's like, okay, that was kind of out of nowhere, that could have explained better how he turned bad again, um, but yeah, it's like, then he was so much like his original puppet self that he woke up and he was a puppet again, so yeah, it's, uh, basically an excuse to make him a puppet for this, uh, yeah, this is supposed to be a follow-up to the original story, and yet it's, uh, got a couple similar beats as the original story, so it's, uh, it's like a, uh, traditional Hollywood sequel without, uh, you know, without an actual movie to follow up, but it's still a follow-up to the original story. Yeah, to try to wrap your he head around that. Um... So, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, stupid, stupid way to, <sighs> and, yeah, it's, uh, Pinocchio has to, uh, go to school, and then along the way he, uh, encounters the fox and cat again, and, uh, but, the, the you know, this time, the cat's a beatnik for some reason. His name is Groovy. And, uh, you barely see any of them. They're kind of entertaining, but not as much as the ones from the the Disney movie. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh... <coughs> um... So, yeah, they give Pinocchio some 
hypnotism book and, you know, Pinocchio thinks he can hypnotize whoever and then he thinks he can hypnotize a giant whale that's, yeah, there's a giant space whale. Like, there's a, you know, after Pinocchio deals with another giant whale in the previous story, he deals with a space whale now. He even acknowledges late in the movie that, oh, yeah, and I previously fought another giant whale. But, uh, but yeah, this, this one floats in space. So it's a giant mother bleeping whale in space. <laughs> um, so, yeah, then he meets with, uh, hold on a second, uh, remember the guy's name, Nerdle the Turtle. Not to be mistaken with Yertle the turtle. He's not a turtle. He's very different. He uh, he's a humanoid turtle, and I guess that's what a turtle is. Um. And yeah, he uh, he's uh, trying to explore Mars or something, and uh, you know he talks about the giant. Or yeah, they talk about the giant whale, and then Pinocchio decides to go with him so he could hypnotize the whale. Um, and, uh, yeah. <coughs> but yeah, along the way, they travel to Mars, and they find all these giant creatures, and apparently they were created, like they were made giant by the Martians. So yeah, evil Martians. You don't even see the Martians, but yeah, they uh, talk about how evil the Martians are. Um, and, uh, uh, so, I'm sorry, this is just <laughs> such a stupid plot line. But yeah, they do discover that uh, um, the giant whale in this movie, called Astro, um, was also uh, mutated from this planet, and, uh, he escaped, he destroyed the city, and, yeah, and they escape from the Martian base, they blow it up, the Martians are apparently dead now, um, along with all those giant mutants they made, but then they encounter the whale, they have to fight the whale, they, and the whale swallows them, um, and then the Blue Fairy visits Pinocchio, and, uh, you know, she basically scolds him for disobeying again. And, uh... Yeah, then, uh, blah, blah, blah. They escape the, the whale through the spout. Honestly, it's, uh... <laughs> yeah, I wonder if this whole movie was made just so, uh... Just so Pinocchio can escape the, the whale through the spout this time instead of the mouth. Because that's how he's escaped Monstro. Um... And... Uh, and then, uh, like, the whale goes after them, but the ship has been damaged, and, uh, you know, it's kind of spinning around, but it ends up, like, hypnotizing the whale, and, uh, yeah, and, you know, he kind of falls asleep, and then, you know, as they, uh, tug him back to Earth, they suddenly realize, oh, wait, um, this is gonna make us, like, crash land, and the whale's gonna, like, do serious damage, and blah, blah, blah. <coughs> so, yeah, they gotta, like, turn the spout around. The spout is, like, it looks like, uh, some kind of exhaust pipe or something. So, yeah, Pinocchio has to, like, turn it around so that, you know, the whale blows the other way, and, uh, you know, he, he does the thing, and along the way he gets hurt. Yeah, he, basically he uh, seems to die again. And then we see the scene again of Geppetto and the pet dog this time, uh, mourning over the dead Pinocchio, and, and of course, uh, Nerdle. Um, so yeah, they're all grieving over Pinocchio, and then... Uh, you know, be, again, because of the selfless thing he did while trying to stop the whale, and, you know, sacrificing himself and all that, once again, he turns into a real boy. It's, uh... So, yeah, it's like... 
It's like a retelling of Pinocchio, except it's supposed to be a follow-up in space, and yeah, it's just so stupid. This this is a stupid movie, and uh, <coughs> oh yeah, and uh, despite yeah, apparently Pinocchio actually takes place in modern times, or at least like the time this came out, the the mid '60s. Um, because there's all this uh, modern stuff like television, and, you know, there's these uh, modern-style science labs and news reporters and stuff. Even though the world around Pinocchio still looks like, uh, like the 1800s or whenever the heck the story's supposed to take place, the original story. Um, so yeah, this uh, movie doesn't even know what time period it is. Um, <coughs> but whatever, it's a sci-fi movie. Sci-fi fantasy. Um, um, despite everything, um, I guess uh, the animation's alright. The voice acting's pretty good, at least for the English dubs. Um, yeah, I watched the English dub, of course. Um, uh, I'm not, uh, yeah, I kind of figure if there's an English dub available, I'll just watch it. I don't care. Whatever. I mean, maybe the original dub is better, but that's just how I operate. It's just easier to watch the original dub, or the English dub. Um, but, uh, and there's some decent humor in there. Uh, mostly from, like, some of the wisecracks from Nerdle. He's, uh... Yeah, I think he's voiced by some famous comedian or something. Um, but yeah, it, it's still stupid. It's... Um, it's at least... It's not the worst movie I've reviewed so far, but it's, uh... Still got some problems, and it's certainly not good. Um... So yeah, uh, like at least the story is direct. At least, uh, yeah, at least it's uh, what's the word? Um, yeah, you know what's happening. You know, it's linear. You know, I hate when there's like an obvious word that I know. I that I know best describes things, but I can't remember what that word is. Like, I know the word, but sometimes it just, my mind just blocks it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a dumb movie. I would not personally recommend it. It's not the worst thing ever, but it's still stupid. Um, I think four out of ten would probably be appropriate. Maybe I could bring it up to, like, a five, just because, um, at least, at least, uh, you can follow what's going on, and there's some decent humor throughout, um, but yeah, it's, I think just the concept alone, like, brings down the experience quite a bit, and, uh, yeah, it was a little harder to enjoy it when you know that it's like a, uh, like a rip-off sequel to the original Pinocchio story. I mean, there's not even any other Pinocchio movie that this is following up on. I've reviewed two other Pinocchio movies before this. I mean, well, one of them was not quite Pinocchio, but it was like Pinocchio, Burrettino. Uh, I don't know, it's just really stupid. Obviously, it's not entirely based on the same story that the Disney version told. It's obviously supposed to be more based on the original book, because, uh, you know, the Disney Pinocchio wasn't, uh, nearly as naughty as this Pinocchio becomes again at the beginning. Uh, I'm sorry, this is just, like, the back, like, just the concept alone is stupid. It's, like, I came into this movie ready to, ready to absolutely hate it, and I didn't absolutely hate it, but I don't really like it either because just the concept is, you know, Pinocchio becoming bad again, so 
Like, suddenly he turns bad again, and then he turns back into a puppet, and then he goes to space. And then fights another giant whale. It's just... And then all these uh, beats from... from the original story, it's just... Ugh. So, yeah, um... I guess 4 out of 10 is probably what I would give this movie. And, uh... Yeah, uh... Is there anything else to say? Because, I mean... Yeah, I'm ranting quite a bit here. Maybe... Maybe I'll think of something else to put in the comments, but uh, I think I'm out of steam right now. So, uh... Yeah, I'll just leave it at that for now. Uh, Mash it and smash it, signing off.